Okay, real quick. Five eighths of 100. The short answer, 62.5. Here's how I got there. So instead of of, we're going to multiply. So it's 5 eighths times 100. Same thing. And then for 100, let's make this into a fraction. Let's call this 100, and we'll put it 100 over 1. Because 100 over 1, 100 divided by 1, it's still 100. We haven't changed the value. Just now we have fraction times a fraction. That's a lot easier. 5 times 100, that's 500. And then down here, 8 times 1, that's 8. So we could divide 500 by 8 and get a decimal, and we could change it to a mixed fraction as well. Let's do a decimal first. So if you divide 500 by 8, you end up with 62.5. So 5 eighths times 100, 62.5. For a mixed fraction, 8 goes into 500. It's 62 times 8. That's 496. So we'd have 4 left over and then we'd keep the 8 on the bottom. And 4 eighths is the same as 1 half. So we could call this 62 and 1 half. That would be the lowest form. So either way, 5 eighths of 100 or 5 eighths times 100, you end up with 62.5. Or if you need a fraction, 62 and a half. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.